Hey guys, it's Jason with Tinker Time. I want to show you, this is the Flash Forge Adventure of 5M, and this is uh, my little setup that I have here in a closet. There is a crucial step that you kind of need to do that I would suggest that you do, and I did it for mine, and it has to do with build plate adhesion for your prints and how to get them to stick perfectly first time, every time, so as you can see, this is the build plate and it's textured here because it's coated. I have coated it with a special something that works really, really good. And here it is, guys. Okay, you can go to Walmart or other places that carry the Salon Graphics brand here, like a level five hold. This way, it's got enough of the good stuff in it that will bond to the build plate and then also allow the plastic when it's hot enough to bond to the build plate via this stuff. But once it's cold, it just pops right off and it doesn't leave any nasty residue on the build plate or the print itself. Now let me show you how this goes on the build plate. That way you know exactly how to apply it. So if you just go ahead and take your build plate straight out of your printer there and grab the hairspray, we'll show you here that you don't wanna do just a light little spray like that because what it'll, that'll do is just not give you quite enough adhesion when the print goes down on the plate. So essentially what you wanna do is spray it like this. You wanna take it from about this far away, six to eight inches, and really coat it good. Give it a good coat like that, because once that dries, whether you use the heat from the uh, machine, when you put it back on there, if you're about to print, or just let that air dry, it doesn't really matter. Once that dries, you're basically one and done. You don't really have to do that again, except for maybe once a month, which is really cool. This is what you can expect the texture to look like. It's shimmer on there, it's got an awesome, nice reflective look. Now remember, once your print is done, let it cool all the way, and then just flex that build plate as you normally just do that, and it'll flex, and this will just pop right off. It leaves an awesome finish on the texture build plate, and it sticks perfectly every time. Got a couple of other things that are really important when it comes to your part sticking to the plate and how secure your printer is. I have this surface that it's on. It's just a little cabinet deal, but it is literally bolted to the wall there. There is absolutely no play or movement or wobble. This is rock solid. Once you have your surface completely stable, 100%, then go in here and let it do its calibration again. The PID, the vibration test, as well as the self-leveling. Make sure and go through that again when you have it set on, on a super rock solid surface. And so that'll make sure that your prints go down right the first time and print really, really well. And the quality is really good and your layers look really good. All right, so that's the trick to getting your parts to stick. Guys, if this tip helped you out today, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you in the next one.